My name is Dean Carson. I'm a Bass Pediatric Fellow in the Department of Psychiatry and Behavioural Sciences at Stanford University. I think the way that MAPS is working towards reintroducing psychedelics as a therapeutic option is perfectly situated within S Silicon Valley. One of the things that I've been mostly interested in at Stanford has been developing new therapies, both behavioural and drug-based, that can treat uh, the core social deficits in autism and MAPS is doing a fantastic job in targeting a very clearly unmet need by looking at the effects of MDMA in the treatment of social anxiety in autism. There is a wealth of knowledge to show that MDMA is safe when it's administered in a controlled setting. MAPS is very interested in the application of MDMA within a controlled setting in conjunction with psychotherapy and to me that makes a lot of sense. The interesting thing about MDMA and, and similar drugs within the, the kind of psychedelic drug realm is that they do have um, multi-targeted approaches and so we're talking about the effects on serotonin, dopamine, oxytocin, cortisol, vasopressin. It's really kind of a systems level approach that I think is critical in the treatment of psychiatric disorders. I think the most exciting thing for me as a Stanford researcher is to be able to, to interact with kind of multiple research groups and so Charles Grobe's group at UCLA and the MAPS group We've all been working together to try and figure out what's the best approach to developing MDMA or investigating MDMA as a potential therapeutic in autism. We're looking at uh, pre-treatment levels of oxytocin and vasopressin in the blood and then post-treatment levels. So we can see which are the patients that are most likely to respond uh, well to the treatment. And at the end of the study, what is it that has changed within the individual that's causing these you know, positive responses? The study is moving very rapidly for recruiting patients and we hope that by the end of 2015 we'll have all of this data collected, the assays will be completed and we'll be moving towards publishing this data. Historically, uh, government funding has been applied to very basic level research or to uh, drug discovery opportunities where there is a clear intellectual property component to it. The interesting thing about MDMA and other psychedelics in general is we're really talking about old uh, old drugs that have now re-emerged, now that we understand the neurobiology a lot better, we can see that there's an application to uh, treating a variety of different indications. So uh, accessing uh, private funding to be able to move this research over the line not only will help us in the short term, but it will open up the opportunities to access and encourage federal funders to provide grants for this type of research.